What is up guys welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution gameplay where we're continuing to build our version of Jurassic World and today we're going to be finishing up the park so by adding in all of the carnivores so we're just going to go ahead and get right into it so over here we have the T-Rex ready to release so we'll go ahead and get that one released and then over here we've got two spinos so we're going to be putting two spinos in there pinned together and then I got to figure out what to put with them so I'll go ahead and oops, uh, trank out the T-Rex here. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Spin around here, add test, there we go. So we'll get that T-Rex going. And then we might as well go ahead and hit the Spino too. So I've got to try and figure out exactly what I want to do. Let's take a look here. So we'll just take a look in here. So we've got the T-Rex. Let's just go up to the top here. So we have the Allosaurus ready as well because I just then started to go through. So the next will be Baryonyx, which I believe is a two. Yeah, it can be two. Um, Carno is two. Ceratosaurus is three. I'll put in the like Dionychus and stuff with the little Giga. I've never done yet. I believe it's like two or three. So, and since the Giga is like one of the next biggest dinosaurs um <clears throat> so over here we're going to be putting you know the t-rex here spinos in here and i think i can't tell which i think this one's bigger so yeah the, i forgot i went ahead and switched out the walls and stuff so the giga, uh, giga will be in here and then i need to figure out so like if there's like a one dinosaur or something they'll go in here a two maybe the three ones in here then whatever small again i don't really uh remember let's go ahead and get the t-rex transported over to its new home and then we'll move the spinos as well en route to collect the but i think i'll put like the even though space wise probably not the best but i think i'll put like the dionychuses in here i already have the delof sources in here so i want to find like a smaller like one dinosaur if there is one and put it in here with them um but if not i can always move them somewhere else but i'll need to figure out obviously before i put something there but i can obviously just throw them into a bigger enclosure as well so the t-rex is being lifted off so we can now release the allosaurus which i'm pretty sure the allosaurus was just a one dino I don't think I've ever done it, so I don't. Yeah, it's just a one, because that would be a good one. Um, so yeah, we bear on X two. Those are two. Those are three. Giga. Oh yeah, we've not done the Giga yet. Um, let's go and do the Giga. I, th I can't remember. I want to say I went through. No, I didn't even do it. I was gonna say I thought I went through and one hundred percented all the or you know got the lifespan up to as much as it can be on all these but apparently i didn't so i'm gonna go through and do this real quick okay so i did it so we're gonna just go ahead and do the rainforest just because that's usually one i like to do i'm pretty sure they can at least do two so i'm gonna go ahead and uh pick another one here we'll do we can do taiga tundra what we'll do the arid pattern and so we'll at least like i said do those two um, we can go ahead and get that that aloe tranked as well. So let's go in here now, and we will go. So Giga, we've already done that, done both of those. So Majungasaurus, I have not done yet either. That could maybe be a one. Matrikian sources two. So Gamimus is two. So we have a lot of two dinos. Let's do a Majungasaurus. Maybe it'll be a one. I don't know for sure. I'll have to redo this again real quick. Okay, and I just did the jungle pattern on that Majungasaurus. Um, let's go ahead and just leave that because I don't want to do anything else. That's one. So let's take a look over here. So we've got the T-Rex, which has... Oh, apparently it does need some forest. I didn't think they used any forest, but I guess they do take a little... <laughs> that's a big clump is that good for you oh yeah just that little patch of forest right there so the t-rex is all good and fine let's check out okay it needs more grass and it's not like it really matters because 
they're gonna be upset no matter what. We'll just take out that bunch. Let's see. Oh no, we lost the thing. I don't think they'll actually fight. They'll just like square up to each other like that. Okay, what? One died. Not the Majogan source. We lost a Giga, which they have zero, you know, just a small chance of even doing that. So let's go find the Giga. I think it should still be on what I had it, so it should be good. Because he has zero percent, it still died. So, and then, oh, the Allosaurus. I haven't moved yet. Allosaurus. Um. I think I said here. Sure, we'll just throw it in there for now. I don't remember exactly where it needed to go. Yeah, because Giga's there. I don't know, because it's a one. It may have been probably decent in here. I'll have to check it. Like I said, it probably won't be happy anyways. Um, did I... Yeah, it is only a one. You know what? I may... Say, can we cancel the spot? No, we can't. Um, I don't think there's a... Yeah, there's not a task option. All of may try... I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this whole thing out. They're just continue to be fighting over here. They're just so unhappy. But I say, I think though, once we put the Dionychus in though, it's gonna need a lot of trees. Trying to remove some of these trees. Just to make it a little bit happier. Let's do just a little bit more. <laughs> God, it's getting so close. There's like hardly any trees left in here. Another one that's too weak. There we go. We just made it. So they should be up now. Um, so I'm going to get these. I'll probably have to... It's so weird because that's the exact same. But for some reason this one keeps failing. Uh, but I'm going to get these dinos incubated. Maybe a couple more. And I will bring it back once we release them all and stuff. So I will see you then. And we're back. So we did get some more stuff. So we have the Carnos ready to go now. So we'll go ahead and release those guys. So I have technically one less space than I would like to be able to get all the dinos in here so I'm gonna have to put one over in here which I think I'll do like the Sukumimuses because of the water and um, they should be fine you know with all of the uh, sauropods and everything so I'll throw those in there and then um, I'm gonna do I want to say the Matriacanthosaurus since I've used those so much and you know there's nothing um, too special that I've used them on so many islands and stuff. I'm just gonna throw them into this leave them in this enclosure Yeah, I think that's gonna be so I have them my younger sources my or whatever they're called being moved into this one now I did get the gigas moved So there's the gigas in there and then we have you know the dillos running around too. So there are some feeding things for them um, and then of course we still have the spinos which are over there and the t-rex over here so I'm going to put the raptors in with the t-rex the Dionychus in with the spinos and then of course they already have the Delph sources in there so those two are being moved out so then we have the baryonyx released as well and since they're pretty small creatures I'm going to put just throw them into this one complete. so let's go ahead and get Lesson all of our no problem Dinos chopper. Our allosaurus is I did throw in here by itself and it's not happy because there's not enough like room for it. But 
since there's no breakouts, it should be fine. And since it's, you know, the single all by its lonesome dino, since it can't be anything, anything else, I just threw it in there. So that should be fine, you know. Like I said, then like I believe we're going to have... Go ahead and these are the Carnos. And so since the Carnos are pretty big, like popular dinos and stuff, I'm giving them this big center one there. And then these are the Baryonyx. I got to remember um, while those are going, let's go ahead and then do. So we can go ahead and do the Sukumimus, maybe. Um, let's see what colors. Let me determine all this. So we're going to be doing the jungle and maybe the woodland one just because it's going in the tree area and stuff. So we'll go ahead and incubate both of those as well. And let's come over here. And so we're going to be leaving the Matrias last. So let's go ahead now and do the Ceratosaurus, which I think they should be good. Um, yes, we'll definitely be doing a rainforest. So we'll just leave. Oh, we've completely nulled out all its genes we can go ahead and choose it since there's only so many to choose from there it is and it should be good to go now so we'll go ahead and do that one which of course this one's a three so i'll have to um wait and do another one let's pick a different color so we have we'll go ahead and do that one and then we'll just do that other color to next and so now we'll go ahead and move our baryonyx into their Heading new enclosure Collecting asset. there Delivery has let's been check on our my jungle sources they need more grasslands that's what i hate about carnos they all need grasslands so much how about that still not enough there so they just need like just a barely any let's try that now there we go so we've got it but it's like these dinos need such big rooms like but they're so tiny so that's why I like um, herbivores more because you can fit so many more into like this same space so you get like more bang for your buck in my opinion so we've got the Sukumimus is going which again will be moved into here so I do need to go ahead and place some carnivore feeders so we'll go ahead so let's say we'll try and stick them somewhere where people can see maybe right along in there maybe on both of these sides Just to try and draw them out towards the edge so people can see them. And I think it's the waiting game now. So I should be back probably when I get everything else done. Did I? Yes. I say, did I move the carnivores? They need more grasslands at two, but it's just a little bit. So let's go ahead and just take out some of these parts here. a little bit more so not okay this whole center is going out then I liked it being there but I guess we're getting rid of it and there we go they're good now so that should be it so I think I'll probably come back to add in so the serratos are going there Sukumimus is over there and I think that's it for the big dinos I've been using this um, one to check them out which I guess I can use this to go and start doing the smaller dinos so I will start working on that as well too um, but I'll be back adding these small dinos into their pins and then we will take a look at the whole entire park do a little ride around in the different stuff so I will see you then so all of the dinosaurs are right now actually started, well, I'll just say I started recording. I forgot I didn't have the record button. So we've got all the dinos. So the velociraptors are in the enclosure now. So they're in there running around with the T-Rex and 
having all sorts of fun hopefully going in there then over here we've got the spinos with the dionychuses which should be ever i mean around there which some were almost dying because they were starved over there then we got the carnos the serratos gigas with the delophsauruses my youngosaurus is baryonyx um the allosaurus in there then we left the matrias in this enclosure matria can't the sources into the that one i haven't left anything in here but we can um we've got the sucumimuses roaming around over here in with the sauropods so they should be in there somewhere and then of course all our other things so we're gonna explore the park now um so of course we've got our main street here that we started out with main street with all the shops we put the eight hotels along the side and we've got the power stations all along over here which apparently we didn't need some of these because they have completely unused power so that's just fine um then we've got our um monorail station which i wish they would just modify the monorails a little bit to be able to control them I like to be able to be like okay um, start and then because I want to get on and view it and I want to ride from here you know all the way down to here um, but I did label them everything's pretty much labeled so we have herborail one and carnorail so the herbivores go to all the herbivores carnorails go to all the carnivores pretty you know simple and explanatory whatever you want to call it so we're gonna just fly down main street here look of course at all of our shops and you can see the hotels off there to the sides and everything, which lead us to our innovation center, our which looks really cool. I like the water feature and stuff. Then we have our science center and security center. Then we'll come through here where we have a uh, ornithomimids, where we can see the view, where we can see you know struthiomimuses and archaeornithomimuses, just roaming around in there. Just some nice herbivores. Then over here we have our pachycephalosaurids, where we can see a uh, stiggies, packies. Um, the Draco Rexes, all sorts of dinos roaming around in there. It's cool, you can see through to the other enclosure too. So we've got all of those just roaming around in there. It's gonna just check the monorail. Um, and then we come over here to Herbivore Valley. So there comes the monorail. We'll probably ride that at the end. So let's go ahead and ride into Gyrosphere. So we're in the back half of the um, little park now. And so we can see we've got trikes, apatosauruses, and gallimimuses riding along in here through Herbivore Valley. Let's go actually and do a drivable because that way we can kind of control it and go a little bit faster. So here we go. We'll ride through here. Just try and follow the path a little bit. Again, we got the trikes, apatosauruses, and gallimimuses roaming around, as you can see, which all look really cool around here in the herbivore valley where we ride around in our gyrosphere. No, don't get out in the gyrosphere. Which would be cool to kind of take this around to all the different enclosures and stuff. But yeah, and then we just, you know, have that to see all the dinos there. And then we've got our ankle of swords. So we'll just take a look in here. We've got all the different types of ankle, an ankle, I don't know how to say the name roaming around in there of course the big inky back over in there which there goes the monorail back maybe we can if we hurry we can catch it then over here we have the ceratopsians so all the things that are similar to triceratops pentaceratops steraxosauruses cynoceratops of course my favorite little things taurosauruses and chasmosaurus all sorts of fun stuff roaming around in there then over here we got our stegosaurids with all the things about stegos um, a Gigantospinosaurus, or whatever they call it, Kintrosaurus, is Sauropelt, uh, no, is that Sauropelt? I don't, can't remember all the different eyes, but all of those roaming around in there. I like that cool blue one, Gigaspinosaurus. Then over here we have, our, of course, our Hadrosaurs, which are fully loaded. There, we're looking at that, um, Corythosaurus just kind of looking at us there. They're just all roaming around, doing their mating calls and all sorts of stuff. Then we've got our sauropods with our gyrosphere, so we're going to drive so we can go a little faster. Which we also have our sucumimus, so there's, you know, some of the sauropods, one standing right here in the road. Looks like it could be taking a dookie, but it's not. There's our two sucumimuses fighting with each other. I think that red one's so cool. We've got our big old sauropod enclosure here. Of course our feeders. And there's water source right in the middle that we can see from the top. Looks like nothing's roaming around back in here. At least that we can see so far. 
Okay, we're coming up. It looks like Chasmosaur maybe? I can't no, that's a Chasmosaur. I don't know what the other one is. It's like can we not pass that one? Okay, there we go. There we go, Chasmosaurs. And of course another feeder there for the Sukumimuses and everything. So that is the sauropod enclosure. Let's go ahead and just take a view from up top here. Looks pretty cool. There we can see a Brachiosaurus right there. Or a Brontosaurus. Whatever the heck it is. I can't remember the differences. Then coming over we go into our um, genetic dinos I guess you'd say. So we have the Indoraptor roaming around somewhere. Here we go. We'll look at it from this view. There's the Indoraptor roaming down around there. Probably chasing after some uh, goats and stuff. Or maybe not. But that's pretty cool roaming around there. Then we're over here we will have our Indo or Indominus Rex, sorry. Which there it is gonna probably drink and be merry and have some fun. But not breaking out any of the enclosures. Which then leads us it's hard to figure out like which way. I guess you'd go from there, you'd come over to these where we've got oops, wrong ones. the Matrias. Or no, these are the Mayunga sources. Which do look really cool. I really do like those. And in here we've got our Gigas and Dilophosaurus. There you can see. Or, yeah, Dilophosaurus. See them all roaming around. Having fun. Good old time in the park. Um, then we go over here to our Ceratosaurus. If I can get the view. There we go. Ceratosaurus up close and personal in the enclosures. Then from there we go to our... Carnosaurs or Carnotaurus is, looks like they're about ready to square up and fight a little bit. There. And then we go to the Spino and Dionychus enclosure. There's the Spino right up close. Can't really see the Dionychus. They're all, you know, running around trying to survive for their lives. Running all around it, everything back in there. And then we've got our T-Rex all the way back here in the corner with our Velociraptors. So there's our Raptors all around with the T-Rex in the background there. Beg Bertha T-Rex. Yeah, I say they should be doing fine. I think I put enough. Then of course more shopping and everything. Then our Carnivores, rails as we said. And then the last two which are not good in location wise because they should have been seen first. But we've got our Baryonyxes roaming around there. And our last little enclosure, I guess you could say, of the Allosaurus there. But then I forgot we do also have the Matrias in our little hatchery areas. That one's doing a weird head bobbing shake thing. That's kind of weird. Must be some sort of glitch. And so that is it. Let's check where are the monorails at. Okay, this one's good. So here we can see all of them. So there is the Myungosaurus. You can kind of see the Indominus Rex over here. See it right down in there. And then of course the um, Gigas over here. Right there. Gigas running or roaming around. And that will lead us straight over to the um, Ceratosaurus. Of course we've seen all this. We'll see the um, Rexes and then we'll leave this. And hopefully we can find a good... Um, herbivore one to end off here so there of course the spine as you can see the Dionychus is running around everything pretty cool and then we come over here to the Velociraptors and the T-Rex there's a big old T-Rex so oh, it's going to attack the monorail we're going to crash into the pin that'd be pretty fun but yeah we got that all roaming around and then you can see this you know you know a little bit different views from over here see the front you can see where people are shopping and Having all sorts of fun in our park, so let's go ahead and leave that one. Oh, of course, it's coming in now. I want to see it leave. We'll wait um, until it starts to leave again. And we'll ride it probably from Herbo Rail 2 all the way down to Herbo, Herbo Rail 3 because you can then see a really good view of all the parks. So I'll wait for that to come back and I will bring it back to and we'll end off the episode there. So I'll see you then. And here we go, so the monorail is finally taken off in the proper direction. So here we're going to look at our herbivores real quick. So there again we can see our herbivore valley with all our dinosaurs again that we saw while riding in the gyrosphere. 
but just cool to see a top down view i like the um seeing the herbivore one here i like riding along with this usually when i when i've played on here and stuff before i shut off i take a ride on the monorail and there we've got our ankle sword enclosure we need like a whole little um tour guide thing wish you could like program for different stuff and then we got our ceratopsians roam around like now that i see i feel they have way too much room for a lot of these dinos but oh well like herbivores need a lot of room to grow um roam around and graze and all sorts of stuff so it should be pretty fine i just feel i wasted space on some of them there we got our stegosaurs and we're gonna be coming right around to our hadrosaurs our big giant hadrosaurs it's funny like when i did this last episode and i looked around in here there were all sorts of ones all the way back against this wall it's like they are just completely everywhere and so yeah then you can kind of see over to the inner raptor there and everything so you can see everything from the monorail except for really the sword i mean you can see him but not as well but that's gonna be it for this gameplay where we built our version of dress work world like i said it's not the jurassic world uh, but it's just my interpretation like if i was to build a jurassic world using the this jurassic world evolution game this is what it would look like it's not perfect i don't like everything but we were able to fit every single dino at least i'm pretty sure i didn't count them all up but i'm pretty sure we fit every single dino because i went through the incubator things and yeah i've yeah i was able to check everything off so i'm pretty sure we've got everything in here and going so this is pretty fun like i said the it went a little bit faster than I wanted to there towards the end. Um, having to throw just all these carnivores in for this episode. But um, I wanted to finish it because of the DLC that's coming out. So next week the episode will be on the DLC. So we'll see the new dinos. And if I don't know if it's like a new story or mission we have to go through. I don't really remember what was said about it. I just know it's like, you know, on certain islands you unlock the certain genetic uh modified dinosaurs that you can see a sukumimus right there in the middle of the water um and so that would be pretty cool take a look at that and i still need to do the uh challenges so i'll probably be doing that at some time i may do those as live streams maybe once i get more settled down with red dead um or maybe once we get done with ever with the new dlc packs and stuff and may try and you come over here and build a new park and everything but I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my vision and view of Jurassic World. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more Jurassic World Evolution gameplays and other gameplays where we play Ark and stuff. So if you like dinosaurs, you can check those out as well. I want to thank you all so much for watching and watching along with this Jurassic World Evolution um, videos and making um, pretty for my channel at least pretty successful and stuff so i want to thank you all for that and giving me hope with gameplay and stuff like that so thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you on the next Jurassic world evolution video